Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, October 20th, about 8.30 in the morning Pacific time, and we're going to look at silver. This is the SLV, uh, and we're going to try and find a trade here if we can for silver. Now, um, we uh, are in sort of a flag pattern. I drew some uh, lines along the lows and the highs, and you can see this sort of flag wedging pattern here. Um, this indicates that silver is trying to find a direction, kind of moving sideways, but the prices are tightening. Um, you can see that this red line here, the 21-day moving average, has been a place of resistance. It's not been able to get past that um, all week. So uh, silver being turned down again uh, this morning, and uh, looks like we're headed down here to test this lower trend line here, which comes at in at about uh, 29. 50, 29, 40, something like that. Uh, notice down here that the volume has been light, um, which indicates that uh, silver is in a consolidation period. Uh, let's see what happens uh, uh, down here if it can hold this line down in here. Uh, certainly, if it takes out the 2790, uh, that would indicate uh, that we're back into a downtrend. And uh, getting above this 21-day uh, moving average, this red line, would certainly be a, a more positive sign. Your next area of overhead resistance would be this upper trend line here. Uh, if we could get through that, then um, our next uh, point of overhead resistance is all the way up here at the $35 mark, which is the 200-day uh, moving average. Another negative for silver is that this blue line, the 50-day moving average, has now crossed under the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line. So. Um, you know, the, the prices are moving sideways. There are a lot of negatives still on silver. There really is no trade here uh, yet. And if we go to a weekly chart of silver, you can see this waffling action that we've uh, uh, been doing for the last uh, uh, five, four or five weeks here. Um, certainly just a trading range, um, pretty wide trading range actually, about 10, 15% uh, trading range. So um, not a place to uh, really be gambling in here in my opinion. And what I like to do is I like to go to these hourly uh, bar charts. This is the 60-minute uh, chart on the SLV, and I like to see what trend we're in here. Um, clearly, we're in a downtrend uh, on silver uh, in, on the 60-minute chart as well. Um, you can see that this high of 31.49 uh, was lower than this previous high of 31.96, so a lower high. And then also this low here, 29.72, was clearly under this low here. Uh, and under this low here. Uh, so uh, lower lows and lower highs mean a downtrend. And then this morning, of course, uh, we took out this 29.72 and uh, got to a low of 29.44 so far. So taking that one out too, clearly in a downtrend, below all these uh, key moving averages here, and certainly below uh, this 200-hour uh, um, line here and below the 100-hour line and of course below the 50 hour line and the 21 hour line so uh, nothing looking good here on the hour uh, chart of the SLV so really no trade here um, let's wait and see if we break that uh, uh, lower trend line um, on the day chart uh, silver back in a downtrend if we go to the upside um, back in an uptrend so we're sort of in a wait and see mode here now, when we go to a monthly chart of silver, we get a longer-term perspective of what the metal's been doing. Uh, you can see here that early in the year, we had just a massive run, um, which actually started in uh, 2010 and got up here all the way to 48.35. And uh, we have now pulled back all the way down with a low of 27.41, but holding this 20-month moving average here. This is a very important moving average and a lot of longer term traders watch this so uh, they're coming in and supporting it here uh, certainly a break between 2741 would be very bearish for silver but uh, as far uh, as we go now we are holding above that um, so um, this is something to watch